So uh, ginger is a well-known medicinal plant to all of us. Uh, I hope all of you have seen the ginger rhizome. Uh, coming to the morphology of ginger. So as you know, the morphology means uh, the examination of the external characters of ginger. In the ginger rhizome, uh, you will find different characteristic features as it grows below the soil. You will find adventitious roots, node, internode, scale leaf, burrs, and the leaf. So all these are present in uh, uh, in ginger rhizome. Coming to its organoleptic characters means color, order, taste, all these things. Color means externally it is buff color and internally it is yellowish in color. Order it is agreeable and aromatic. Taste agreeable, pungent and characteristic size <coughs> so uh, the rhizome of ginger are about 5 uh, to 15 uh, centimeter in uh, in uh, length and diameter uh, whereas shape uh, shape uh, the rhizomes are laterally compressed bearing short flat ovet and oblique branches on the upper side with bud at apex so <coughs> next the fracture fracture is short and fibrous coming to the extra feature longitudinal stations with occasional projecting fibers are present on the surface of ginger transversely cut surface shows the oil mark endodermates so these are uh, the important morphological features generally found in ginger rhizome. Now coming to our next uh, part, that one is the microscopy. Microscopy, <coughs> this diagram, when we take the transverse section of the ginger rhizome, these are the various characters generally found in uh, the ginger rhizome. So at the topmost part, you will find two to three layers of closely arranged uh, uh, rectangular shape of cell. That one is known as the cork. Cork is further divided into two layers. First one is the outer cork. Uh, few layers, dark brown and irregularly arranged. Whereas the inner cork, uh, again, uh, it is two to three layers of cell. These are colorless and radially arranged. So the outer cork is irregularly arranged, whereas uh, the inner cork is radially arranged. So after cork, the next part is the cortex region. The cortex region consists of isodiametric thin walled parenchyma cell. So <coughs> these type of uh, isodiametric cells are prevailed in the cortex region. Uh, one important character you will find here, that one is oleoresin cell, which is yellowish brown in color. Due to the presence of oleoresin, ginger is having characteristic aroma and the pungent taste. Next is fibrovascular bundle. That one is yellowish brown in color. <coughs> So next is uh, the xylem vessel. Xylem vessels are non-lignified, tracheids with annular, spiral or reticulate thickening. Generally, uh, xylem vessel is lignified character, but in case of ginger, it is non-lignified. Fibers with peated and uh, very distinctly visible. Next one is endodermis, which is the characteristic feature of uh, the ginger rhizome. It is single layered uh, cell free from starch grain. So after endodermis, the cellular layer is known as the ground tissue. The ground tissue uh, consists of parenchymatous cell uh, where uh, the abundant of starch grains are present along with the oleoresin cell. The vascular bundle and starch grains are also found in, uh, in um, the ground tissue. So uh, 
briefly uh, these are the microscopical characters generally observed in ginger rhizome.